Hi, I'm Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to manage and organize your faxes using SFAX for Web. Let's start by discussing the difference between a read and an unread fax. An unread fax will be located in bold text, and a read fax in normal text. You can manage your faxes by creating folders. To create a folder, simply choose the Add Folder icon, select your parent folder, give it a name, and choose Add. Now that I have my subfolder, I can move faxes into it. Simply choose my faxes, select the Move option, my folder, and move. By selecting my folder, I can choose to delete it, rename it, move it, or empty it. Remember that emptying a folder will send its contents to the trash. In the fax list view, I can choose to reply to a fax, forward, delete, move, export, print, filter, and refresh. Let's move on to the preview pane. Here you can choose to scroll through your fax, select a certain page, choose the thumbnail view, zoom features, rotate. Remember that if you rotate, remember to save the fax. You can review info in regards to this fax, such as the sender's information and the date and time it was received. The subject and reference fields are searchable facts. The subject and reference fields are searchable fields so you can enter in information to easily locate the facts at a later time. You can also print to show receipt of facts. I'll save my changes. You'll now see the information I entered into my searchable fields located here. I can also key that in to locate that fax. And there's my fax. You can also choose to view notes on a fax. It'll keep track of any system notes such as when a fax was opened, moved, printed, or exported. You can choose to hide system notes to view your own. And that is how you manage and organize your faxes using SFAX for Web.